Hi YouTube! This is my first recorded video, so bear with me. We're going to go over my diamond painting toolkit, which I have pieced together and put together with mismatched things that I found all over the place. I found the case. It's a taco box at Walmart, and I've just set it up to whatever helps me with my diamond painting at the time. It's really versatile, and it changes whatever you need, so... The case has even this little box on the top that you can store stuff in that you need to get to easily, like extra pens, whatever, but I don't really put anything up there. And my top shelf, I've got my loose diamond storage. It's this little container that came with a kit that I bought, an accessory kit. It just pops open. Well, it does if you open the right side. Ha. Huh. And I've just got right extra diamonds in there. And then this one is the exact same container. But this one has my trash in it. As I just finished a diamond painting, it's got all of the trash from that diamond painting in it as I went. I found them. This is just a clip that came with one of my kits. And it's got a napkin wrapped around in it. Because as I'm working on my diamond painting, I will take my dry erase marker and I'll write down what number I'm working on just in case I step away or forget what I'm doing or what symbol I'm working on. So I don't accidentally place the wrong symbol or place the diamonds on the wrong symbol. And this clip just came with my accessory kit and then I just use this and, you know, wipe away the dry erase marker because that's all you need to do. It works really well on that um, protective cover that comes with most diamond paintings. I don't recommend using it on the clear paper that come with it, but oh, there's another clip under there. Um, over here I've got my just gel pen. Came with my accessory kit. I've got like a billion gel pens. I collect them because I also do adult coloring, but yeah. And then I've got my X-Acto blade for you know, whatever you need blades for, cutting tape, cutting, uh, protective covering, dividing them into s different sections instead of one giant section. That all just fits right there. I've got my work in progress tool bag that I use with every diamond painting. It's got, it was just a bag that my boyfriend ordered something and the bag came with it and I was like hey that's a cool little bag it kind of reminds me of the bags that you get with all of the original toolkits in it for your diamond paintings I'm just gonna steal that and then I went and got some diamond dots and some leisure arts from Walmart and I got these you know clear sparkly pens everybody knows about the sparkly pens but I took a three placer and put it on there and then my accessory kit I got came with one of these it's just a flat placer it's just flat for straight edge and I threw a pencil grippy on it yeah, not much then I got my other pen I just put a single place around both ends because everybody knows that you can customize a diamond painting pen just pop the top off pop your placer off and you can interchange whatever you want to do I've got two single placers because as I'm placing, if I get really into it, I don't want to stop and refill my pen, so they're both filled when I start. And if one stops sticking, I just flip it over and use the other side. And then the grippy just, you know, slides. Back into my toolkit. Um, I think it's Allison Rosen who did this. I think she picked it up from another YouTuber. She took an old card, like a gift card. And she super glued some spare drills onto it. So when you fill your diamond painting pen, you can just stick your pen on that drill and it seeps all of the extra goop onto your card here, which gives you a straight edge too, by the way, for when you're working on the side of, edge of painting. It, all of your extra goop falls and fills up on your card and you just clean your card off and it doesn't go all over your painting, which is just amazing. So I stole that idea. I got some nice duct tape at Walmart around Halloween because, yeah, I love skulls and everything gothic. So I figured, hey, I've got an old card. It's an old gift card. Just going to cover it with tape so you can't tell what's in it and make it all pretty and then put my spare drills on it. 
work pretty slick. Back to the accessory kit that I keep talking about. I came with some of these spoons. So I just keep a spoon in there for my craft mates or whatever container I'm using. I can just spoon it out and put it in the in the tray there. And it's perfect amount for working on. You can even do two, three of them. And I got some thin tweezers. Came in my accessory kit. I like these better because I haven't got any who can or ever moment yet, so works great. I kept losing the little plastic thing that you put on it to hold the tweezers together, so I just wrapped a, band, a rubber band around the plastic contain the plastic slip like that, and that way I can always find it and not lose it. See, a little plastic, and you just take the rubber band and you wrap it. And you just do that. Hold your tweezers. Um, everybody knows Diamond Dots containers. You get your wax in it. Works pretty slick. So I, I've got several Diamond Dots and Leisure Arts. They come with this too from Walmart. So I took one and I filled it with my sticky tack. Because, you know, the wax is wrapped with plastic that you could just pop out and keeps it from drying out so I was like neat now I've got two of these I'm just gonna take one and fill it with my stick my blue tack so I don't have to have this big old chunk of blue tack everywhere worked pretty slick and then in here I just have a bobby pen hair pen when I'm working on a diamond painting if I'm doing like the leisure arts where it's got you know a one and then the symbol I'll just stick the bobby pin next to the symbol I'm working on. Helps just in case I get distracted or whatever. I get distracted easily, so that's what's in my little bag here. I'll put all that away later. I got my working tray. I like this one. It came in my kit. Everybody knows it's just a boat with a funnel, but it's fairly wide. That's it compared to my hand. Uh, everybody needs tape. Everybody uses washi tape, but I figured, eh, it works just as good. Um, scissors. There's another card in there that I'm not going to let you read the information on because I haven't wrapped the tape around it yet. This is actually a little medicine cup that comes on like Pepto and like cough syrup. And I have the DMC codes and the symbols for one of the paintings that I'm going to work on all cut up nice and put in here so when I get ready to work on that I just pop this flat this paper off that I just taped on there made a lid and works real slick no to the second shelf which is really easy back here I've just got some dryer sheets cut up, ready to go. I've got some that are kind of like jagged little tiny pieces and then some that are symmetrical colored slice in a little bag. Comes with, you know, your diamond paintings come with all these little bags and of course I'm going to repurpose them. And then under that I've got little light up pens. Came in my accessory kit. For some reason he doesn't want to light up. Oh, there it goes. And I took the placers off because I have this thing where I don't have any placers on any pins that I'm not using for some reason. I And it stores easier. And there's another one down there. One was came with a three placer and one came with a single placer. He's a little kitty. I like that one a lot. And he lights up too. If you can get him too. There you go. See, now I just use them as a flashlight. Dryer, sh dryer sheets go back over there. And here I just got some uh, Dollar Tree washi tape. That's the word I was looking for in an empty container from Diamond Nuts. It holds the washi tape up. I also have it right here. That's what this is. Back here I have all my spare wax. Pink wax. I'm not all that picky. I just do them all in the same one except for the ones that are round. The round ones are back here. 
to replace what's in these. So square and round, each of their own bag, but not per size or whatever. Sorry for the rustling. I hate that. On videos, it gets really loud and annoying, and I'm sorry. Okay, and then right here, just some uh, wipes to clean electronics. So like my phone screen or my iPad as I'm done painting and usually watching something on my iPad. Um, also on my little workstation I've got my light pad and I've got an office light that has a magnifying glass in the middle. It's really fancy and handy and it clips onto wherever you want to go and it moves. And I use that to clean them. I don't think I stuffed anything under there. Right here I've got a battery pack. It's got two slots on it, USB slots, so I can plug my light box and my desk lamp into it and it also comes with my light box came with a AC adapter back here holding this in place like right back here like you can, can't really see it because of my angle I'm not gonna move you guys so I don't want you to get motion sickness but back here it's just all of my spare pins that I took all the placers off of these are all the ones that are missized and whatever and I just threw them in a bag that one of the original toolkits in my diamond paintings came in. And it just holds my battery pack from falling backwards. Uh, that's just an empty bag. Right here I've got more tweezers. It's just tweezers that came in my kits and came in my accessory kit. And as I said, my accessory kit came with spoons. came with three. I only use one, so just store it in there. In there, out of the way. Just fits right there. All neat and tidy. And on this bottom shelf, I've got uh, index cards. This is the open pack, so it's in a baggie. I've got my spare bags that come with all the diamond paintings. That you can put your drills in. It's got some... I think it's got a sticker in there that's got some symbols on it. And since it's just a baggie of bags, I just made a little slit right there with some scissors so I can squeeze all the air out. And it fits right there under it. You could probably see this little... That came in my accessory kit. It's just stamps, stickers. I don't use them. Um, my accessory kit also came with these cute little tin place containers that you can take the dividers out. These slide out going to make a lighter of me. Whatever. These are supposed to slide out. So I rearranged them. My accessory kit came with all these extra drill pans. And some of them came with the grippies on them. So if I ever need a spare grippy, it's right there. And this one came in one of my Leisure Arts or Diamond Dot kit. I, d I take all of my stuff apart when I get it. For some reason, I can't have it together. And it came in my kit. And I just thought, that's kind of neat. And store extra drill pins in it. And when I get to where I can't store anymore, give them to someone? I don't know. This has all my multi-placers in it, all my spare placers. Again, I just took the dividers out. This one will show you. See, the divider comes out like that. And that's all my single placers. And this is the curved multi-placer. I even have a four placer, which was really weird. I've never seen that before on a drill pen. And one of my paintings came with a four placer instead of a three placer. And I know it's a four placer because literally on the placer it says four. You can't read that because of the engraving. But still. And then some more flat, straight edges. Stuff like that. It just fits in here. I mean my spare blue tack. Because when I started diamond painting, this is what I wanted to use instead of the pink wax, but I figured the pink wax works really good on the round leisure arts and diamond dots. For some reason the blue tack just does not like those drills or they don't like the blue tack. I don't know which one's not playing this, but so I've got two more packs, three more packs that I haven't opened yet and I just cut the chunk off there with my scissors and threw it in this container right here. Worked real, real neat. And I think that's everything. I wanted to just show you guys my working toolbox. This sits on my table that you're currently sitting on. And when I'm using it, I just put it down on my bed because I sit on my bed and work with an overbed table that you usually see in hospitals. 
and it works kind of nice. I just have it open like this while I'm working, or I have it like this. Because usually I don't need in the bottom for with all the storage stuff. I just need this top working, you know, tape and scissors and my little trash containers. And this little baggie has my toolkit and it usually just sits right here. The only other thing that I don't put in here because of course it's not gonna fit is my rolling pin. And yes, I got an old school baking rolling pin. It's not one of those fancy ones that don't have the handles or anything because my hands constantly hurt. And this is just easier to hold on to instead of having to do this all the time. So, yeah, that fits there. And then I got my light pad and it's in a sleeve and I've got my craft meat lockables sitting on my table and when I'm ready to do it, I just plug all of my stuff into my USB port that's over here on my end table that holds all my electronics and put this on the bed open this up, move it over, put this right here, and as I'm going, just go. You know, I can pull out several of my sleeves here. Just pull one out, whatever numbers I'm working on, I try to work in order. Oh no, my lock mates came open. Good thing it's all in a container, huh? It works slick. Anyway, as I'm going, that's what I do. I don't think anybody asked me to make this video, but I decided to make it. And hopefully I made it short, sweet, and simple, and to the point. Have a great day, guys.